In the very first lecture of this section, we learned that we can create our routes in the module file like we are currently doing, or we can also define the routes of our application in a separate file. So in this lecture, what we will do is we will define the routes of our Angular application in a separate file instead of creating it in the app module. And then we will see how we can use those routes for our Angular application. So here we are defining the routes of our Angular application. Now here we do not have too many routes to define. So it's completely okay to create these routes here. But in real world applications, you might have 20 or even 30 or more routes. In that case, instead of defining the routes in the app module, like we are doing here, we should define them in a separate file. In this way, the module file and the router file will be leaner and cleaner and easy to maintain. Now we are still going to define the routes in a module file, but not in app module. Instead, we will create a new module file and there we will define our routes. Now we have not talked about modules yet, but we are going to talk about it in great detail in the future lectures of this course. But here I will give you a high level overview of how we can create a module. For that, what I'll do is inside this app folder. So let me go ahead and let me collapse these folders. Okay, and inside this app folder, we are going to create a new file and I'm going to call this file routing module. Okay, so the convention is when you are creating a module, the file name should have dot module in it, like we are specifying here. And then the extension is going to be dot ts because it is going to be a TypeScript file. Okay, so here we have our app module and here we have our routing module. Now in here, we are going to create and export a class. So here I'll use this export keyword to export the class and I'll use class keyword to create the class. And the class name is going to be routing module. Okay. Now this class, it should be a module class. So if I go to app module, you will notice that in order to make this class, this app module class, a module, we are decorating it with ng module decorator and we need to do the same thing for this routing module so we want to make this class a module class so we need to decorate it with at ng module decorator now in order to use this ng module we also need to import it from angular slash go so here let's also write the import statement and we want to import ng module from angular slash go okay and to this ng module, we can pass a metadata object like this. So in this way, we have made this class a module class. Now inside this module file, we want to define the routes of our Angular application. So I'll go to app module and I will cut these modules which we have created here from this app module file. And I'll go ahead and I'll paste it here. So again, before this ng module, I'm going to paste the routes. And let me also remove the not required routes from here. So these commented routes. Okay. Now, in order to use these components, we also need to import them here. So what I will do is I'll go here and I'll just copy all these import statements. Okay. And then we will remove those import statements, which is not required. So we are already importing ng module from angular slash co. So I'll remove this line. Then we don't need this browser module. Let's remove this one. We need this router module. So I'm going to keep it. We don't need this app component and services service. Let me remove these imports. We don't need this footer component and header component in this file. Let's remove this. We don't need banner component, service component, testimony component and contact us component. So I'll also remove them. Okay, we don't need courses service in this file. Let me go ahead and let me remove it. We don't need login component here, or we might need it in the future, but for now we don't need it, so I'll remove it. Okay, so these are the imports which we need in this routing module file. And with that, you will see that those errors are also gone. Now in this file, when we are using this ng module decorator, there we do not need to declare all these components 
because we are already doing it inside this app module so inside this app module if you go to this declaration section we are already declaring those components so there is no need to redeclare them in this routing module and if we try to do that that would actually give us some error okay because since we are already declaring them in the app module we don't need to redeclare them in any other module here we don't need to declare them inside this routing module now the next thing which we need to do is from here we need to remove this router module from this import array we need to remove this routers module and this routes is also not available now inside this file so that's why we have this error but anyway i will remove this from here and we need to add it in our routing module so in here inside this ng module decorator we are passing a metadata object in that metadata object we need to specify the imports property we know that it is going to store an array and in that array we need to specify the router module so here let's say router module and on this we are going to call for root method because as we learned earlier using this for root method we tell angular that the route which we are going to pass to this for root method we are defining that route for the entire angular application it is not defined for a feature module it is defined for the entire angular application and here to this for root method we are going to pass this routes variable so it is this routes variable which is storing all our routes so all these routes it is stored inside this routes variable so we need to pass that to this for root method now we want to use this routing module to outsource our routes therefore what we need to do is we also need to add an export array here so here we are going to specify another property called exports this is also going to store an array and inside this array we specify all those things which we want to export from this module file so whatever we will export from here we can use that in other files in other modules and from here we simply want to export this router module okay now let's go back to app module file and there we are going to import this routing module so here let's say let's specify routing module and that is it now in order to use this routing module here we also need to import it from this file okay so in this way we have created our routes in a separate file we are creating it inside this routing module file okay we are setting those routes on this router module and then we are exporting the router module then in the app module which is the main module of our angular application there in the imports array we are specifying the routing module this class okay and in this way angular is aware about this routing module and it is aware about these routes and now the route should be working as it was working earlier when we defined it inside this app module file so our application should still be working let's actually check that let's save the changes let's also save the changes in this file and let's go to the web page okay here let me go to the home page so here we can see the view of home page this link is working if i go to about page here we can see the view of about page so this is also working let's go to contact page the view of contact page is being displayed here this is again working let's go to courses page so we can see all the courses inside this courses page so this view is also working and let me also click on the detail of one of these courses and the course detail page is also being displayed so this route here it is also working but now what we are doing is we have separated our routes in a separate module file and this is how we should define routing in real world angular projects it's always a good practice to have separate file for routers of our angular application